Hi, I'm Dana. This is Winter. Hello. You've, everyone's heard about Winter. Everyone because yeah, oh. <laughs> I talk about them lots so now everyone knows about them because I have more followers than anyone else in the universe <laughs> um, I don't want to find a top YouTuber which is why we're going to California where you're from uh, yeah originally you can talk from the accent so um are you speaking quietly like a little lady? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Because we're in a crowded plane and it's very close to our mouths so we can talk quieter. So we don't disturb the people around us. <laughs> we're hunched over in the aisles because we don't we're trying to cut out everybody else's face. If there's nobody else's in it, and if there is, we'll blur them. But this should be loud enough to where we can take the audio from this phone, the video from that phone. And we can make it work. <laughs> and I'm holding the phone at a very awkward angle, but I'll But it's the YouTube. only way we both look remotely decent. It's real bad. So it's, airplanes are not made for this. It's real bad. But, okay, do you want to recap what our plans are for the week, or do you want me to? You do it. Okay, so, um, I gotta go back home to take care of some stuff. And I wanted to drag my bestie with me. So we are going to California where we're going to meet up with a couple of my cousins who live in LA. And tomorrow we're going to Disneyland, which is amazing. And that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow is Disneyland. Okay. It's tomorrow is Disney. Because um, it's not as crowded on, on weekdays. So tomorrow is Disneyland. Um, the next day is Venice Beach and Muscle Beach because I have to show Dana California's version of Camden Town in London, because it's crazy there. Um, and then the next day, we are going to a comedy improv show in London. Um, in with, London. In London, yes. Here, hold this one for me. I gotta adjust my hands. We're adjusting, we're adjusting. Oh, we're way too close, we're way too close. Okay, so um, we're going to a comedy improv show in LA that has uh, some of the Dimension 20 cast. Any nerds that follow you will know who that is and I will teach you eventually, Dana. You're watching Misfits and Magic See, with me. See, every time I've worn one of your nerdy little like, D20 like t-shirts or whatever else, people are like, oh my God, it's so exciting, Dana, what is this? And I have to be like, I don't know, artists now. They will. They will. They will get there eventually. They will learn. Um, Misfits and Magic is going to be watched while we're in California or I'm not going to let them back on the plane back. There's consequences now. I'm in charge, motherfucker. So <laughs> I can find a different cult if you're gonna make it like that. Oh, we're also desperately keeping Dana away from the Scientology cult in downtown LA. I still don't think I'd go for Scientology. It'd be a more fun cult. No, you're gonna see what that place looks like right outside of Grauman's Theater, and we're gonna have to drag you away because they make it look real fancy. <laughs> see, I, don't, I don't want fancy though. I want desert and white dresses. I want midsummer, but in the desert. You want Utah cults then? No, because they feel Mormony. Not necessarily. No shade to Mormons. I know a lot of y'all follow me on Instagram. <laughs> like, no, not really. Like, I'd say, like, the the Mormony style areas are like very, very happy and nice, like places. But like, you get out to like, if people go out to like near the borders or like any of those places that's where you get to like the weird areas like there's there's some bizarre like if you go out like past bountiful in utah that's when you get to like the midsummer vibes or uh that's also where they have the demolition derbies with the cowboys so it's Aww. either midsummer or it's demolition derbies and there's nothing else in between both very fun things this is coming from a person who has lived in bountiful by the way i'm not just talking shit uh, <laughs> i have lived in bountiful um but anyway disneyland tomorrow then uh venice beach and muscle beach and we're gonna take them to Grauman's Theater. We're gonna see the Hollywood sign. Their entire idea of how big California is is based off of a movie they had me watch this Christmas, uh, Nativity. And it hurt my soul. It's a perfect movie. Get in there, mate. Get in. I'm obsessed with, with Bob. I'm obsessed with Bob. I love that kid so much. I love that way too much now. What they mean is that Mr. Maddens takes that kid, those two kids, to like Beverly Hills, the Hollywood sign, wow. the beach, the beach. Uh, San Francisco, like Melrose Avenue. Like they go Melrose. everywhere in one day. And Winter was like, no. And I was like, yeah. Like, no. 
<laughs> no. It seems fully plausible and possible to me. No. 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 So, either way, we're going to the doable parts of Hollywood the day after. Um, and then we're going to... A, we're probably going to go to the San Diego Zoo, which is very fun. Oh, that is cool. Um, we're going to have... heard of San Diego. Oh. Sometimes you say things and just my soul crumbles. Or is that a soul crumbling I just, one? I've just heard of San Diego. Well, well, yeah. Like half of the movies you love are filmed and done in San Diego. I don't think half the films I like are even American maybe, but still. Oh, it rings a bell. Good. Cool. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna go to the beach. Um, I already mentioned Venice Beach. We're gonna go to Venice Beach. I'm gonna get and my tits out. It may be too cold for that. But oh, wait, no. You were telling me about like your beach temperatures are dramatically right. different. British people will go to Turkey. We will go to Spain. We will go wherever the fuck we need to to get about like twenty-two degree beach weather. That's freezing. That's so cold. It's twenty-four. You're not seeing a man with a shirt on again. I'm wearing three cardigans on the airplane because I'm freezing. I'll keep I'm wearing a big sweat on here too, but I don't feel like I need it. I am but so like, cold. I can't feel my toes. I have got all four of the little airplane blankets that they give us that are very crap covering my toes because they're freezing. <laughs> I also have like the slightly beyond just the British thing of like, well, I'm European. Like in Denmark, if you went to the beach, the only time I didn't have on the beach in Denmark was when the sea had frozen over. No, I am a desert lizard who cannot make my own body heat. I need a hot rock to lay in the sun like this and then I can get warm. So, um. <laughs> It's a little close quarters here. We're we a little close. It's one of those where I'm like, I know it's my social media and I do the social media and I'm the influencer, but... So, that was very close. That's gonna be so loud. Hold on, let, I need to angle myself like this, because then you can't see what the, the airplane air has done to my skin. Because it's not good. So just leave me up here. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck up there alone. Give up. So, we've... Okay, summary. Uh, we took a train from Liverpool to. Oh, wait, you're not saying where you're from, do you? Oh no, I thought I was from Liverpool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, did I just accidentally dox you pre, pre putting it up on your YouTube? You can just beat me. Beat me. I'm anything. going to California now, so you can just dox me. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> just put like do the Monty Python random cat sounds over like put put the Wilhelm scream over whatever you don't want want to be said on your on your channel so we got on at liverpool uh took a train to manchester and then from manchester airport flew from there to ireland and now we're on the plane from ireland to california and tomorrow we're going to be in disneyland and that is the coolest shortest sum up of hell that is travel as two autistic bitches one of which is in a wheelchair so it's fun we've just we've just gone past mount Farrell. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm I'm ninety percent sure we're just gonna go Iceland, which is kind of fun and interesting. Yeah, that's Iceland. Bad. Yeah, that that is Iceland. I did a geography. Yeah, we went past the what did you say the Danish Canal or something Danish like that. Danish Strait. This is so close to my mouth. That's, I'm gonna be like seven times louder than you if we hold it just you like. Are. Bitch. <laughs> You're not wrong, but you have to be so accurate, at, like blasting me to your viewers, of which there are I've many. I've never met you yet. Oh no, this is not the this first is, intro. This is the introduction to winter. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. talking about you though. Yay! <laughs> she knows how all my you, friends are horrible. Did they tell you? Did, did you tell them all about all the clothes that I gave you? Did you do a little fashion show yet? Oh, I never fucking did the fashion show part. Rude. I'm gonna. Better. I'm getting around to it. I need to see how you style my clothes, because Lord knows I couldn't figure out how to style it. That's why I gave it to you. To be fair, it was like the really nice dress. I put it on and was like, I'm wearing a dress. Wow. Ew. <laughs> and then I took it off again. Any Anything y'all see on Dana's channel that is fashionable, like like dittos, anything that's, that's colorful or bright. If I wear something it doesn't look like it's from the 80s, it's yours. You're not wrong. Yeah, if it, if it looks like it could be a pastel emo goth that goes, tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. <laughs> it's probably Maybe from tonight me. will be the night. <laughs> in the night? No, because it's not going to be night. We're stuck in the daytime this whole flight. But when we 
Wait, does California not get dark at like 6 a.m. 6 p.m. like the UK does? No, it's actual night. They want to get dark. They're gonna have daytime when we land. Yeah. It's it's full early afternoon when we land. Um, viewers will be happy to know that upon landing in California, the first first stop that we're going to is directly in an out burner. Directly in an out burner. You can't not do anything but go directly to In-N-Out Burger. I want a big cone. You're blocking your own angle. There you go. I didn't realize that I was leaving you to do the entire video. <laughs> <laughs> like I was trying to continue helping. What else is new? <laughs> oh no. So going going straight to In-N-Out Burger, and uh, my cousins who were going to visit for a couple days there. Uh, know of a vegan In-N-Out burger that does vegan options. So Dana will get a vegan In-N-Out burger. It will let us into my heart and a bone. And I'm gonna get my double double animal style and I will cry because I will be so happy to be having In-N-Out burger again. For those of you who know, it is a lifestyle, not just a burger place. And the sheer amount of merch that I have in my house, that I've also inherited merch in my house from various family members, tells you that it is it's it is a lifestyle it is it is a generational lifestyle if if you're from california oh side note mention we're going to disneyland to go look at how freaking cute my nails are look at that look at that you've just been and waiting so for a friend to have a following piece i know i just want people to see my nails because this is what viewers come to your autism lifestyle channel for is to see your weird loud american friends nails well i'm sure it's really nice for them to see a different representation of autism i am so sorry your, your your whole being is the different representation. <laughs> You're not wrong. Well, because you just got... Oh, did I just rub your boobs? Yeah, you did. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm in excruciating amounts of pain. <laughs> You're doing really well. Uh, yeah, it's normal. You only hit yourself in the face like three times a week. Yeah. And it's never me. <laughs> no? With you, it's the elbows? Because <laughs> You're so fucking tall. <laughs> I just sort of swing my arms a lot to me. Well, and I'm in the wheelchair, so I like, literally reach your belly button. To be fair, though, I think when I turn around to look for you, I smack you more than you've ever smacked me. So I'll be like, the what? The you ran me over in Primark. <laughs> I've only run you over once? Oh, well, yeah, because I fucking learned after that. <laughs> I was thinking I gotta do better. <laughs> you won't catch me. <laughs> I don't know, I go pretty speedy. <laughs> it's not that you're not fast, it's just that I've learned and I'm scared. A, a true, but fear drives me like nothing else. That's why you should do more TikToks with me where I can chase you in my wheelchair. <laughs> I just fear that I'll make physically disabled people look really bad. Look, look, okay, so if this ever pops up on their channel, okay, I've been trying to get them to cosplay with me. We've done a couple, we've done a Crowley and a Xerophel, which was adorable. I really want to do, from Our Flag Means Death, Lucian and Blackbeard, because amazing Blackbeard, and I have the sassy Lucian outfit, and I made a Kindle cover that looks like Lucian's book, and I would go around con actually sketching people, I'm, I'm an artist, um, I'd go around actually sketching people going, have you ever been sketched? Like in the sassiest little voice, and actually sketch bitches. So I want to do a Lucian and Blackbeard. And then just have them throw me off of various okay, surfaces. You're gonna come on my YouTube channel and be like, because I'm an artist. I am. Anytime I compliment your art, come on my YouTube channel and be like, because I'm an artist. I am. Anytime I compliment your art, be like, yeah, so I just, you know, may as well cut my fucking fingers off because I can't do anything with them anyway. No, it's terrible. I can brag about it, but nobody has to see it. <laughs> I will post your art alongside this video. It's gonna be on screen during this part. Literally, just go into a Primark and then just <laughs> film, and there, there it is. It's just filming the Disney stuff. <laughs> just go and just film anything Lilo and Stitch in Primark. <laughs> and then it's like, there you go. And yeah, I'm not boxing yourself off. I'm fine with that. So. <laughs> but I want to do Lucian and Blackbeard and then, spoilers, end of season one, just have them throw me off of various surfaces. How much fun would that be to just have them yeet me off screen left in various surfaces? And I really want to do one because where I used to live, there was like this tilty ramp and it was soft at the bottom because there's grass at the bottom. How funny would it be if they shoved over my whole wheelchair and it fell over? But they don't want to do it because it'll look bad for other disabled people. I, I do want to do it. It just makes me look like an ableist asshole. No, because it's the person in the wheelchair going, do it, shove me, do it. No one knows that. That's why we're making this video. Not, 